Okay, so clearly I shouldn't make an enemy of this girl. So this time I'm gonna be even more stupid and not kill her. I'm gonna go in, no weapon, and see what happens. You're here to slay her. Uh, so if I do that, cool. Um, uh, can't some <laughs> true? Can't someone else do this? I don't. I don't want to do this. Have I heard this already? Uh. Okay. Well. Uh. Let's see. Wait. Sweet. I've always wanted <laughs> to offer Monarch. People. <laughs> There's, okay, there's so many things I could say, but like I don't want to, I don't want to screw anything up. Let's just, uh, let's just go. I don't know. There's a lot of things I can you do. Make your way up. Okay, so yeah, let's go. So yeah, I'm not gonna go aggro. I'm gonna go in without the blade. Hopefully, she shouldn't do anything this time. So enter the basement. door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? This Hypnotizer. I don't know if she sounded this scared it's the kind before. Of voice you I don't only remember. have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Probably, but I have to see what happens. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> let's go. Let's go on in. I'm here to save you. How many times do I have to tell you how dangerous letting her out of here would be before it finally sinks in? Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. <laughs> Bro, why do I feel like this is such a bad idea? Probably because I've been told that this is a bad walk idea. Down the stairs oh, she looks fine. Eyes with the uh, she looks There's a heavy not chain around threatening her at all. Binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? If you if you watch what I did last time, then, then you know. I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Hi. I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen forever. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. Don't do it. If she gets out of those chains, we're all one step closer to the end. Hold on, let's talk a bit first i'll see what i can do uh, here we go another branching path uh let's 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 just let's go straight in you're only making this more difficult See, come on look at that look at that smile do you think someone with a smile like that is capable of doing anything maniacal don't uh, don't don't answer that thank you thank you you're making a huge mistake. No, you're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. Uh, I'll find my way. It's fine. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. And if there isn't a key, do you have any other ideas? Or I'm going to check up upstairs. Maybe the key's still lying around somewhere up there. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to ask if you have any other ideas. Maybe there's some way to break the chains? Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Why, why, why are you going that route? She offers the suggestion with almost complete nonchalance. If we were stuck down here long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out if it meant we could finally be free. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. 
Oh. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Oh, what? Did they get me? <laughs> Are they trapping me in here too because I'm a traitor? Is someone else here? What? I uh, tried the door? You tried the door, but it's locked from the outside. Eh, figured. Can someone let me out? This isn't funny. Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. And I You're guess I'm going back downstairs. And you won't leave until the task is done. But I can't do that anymore. I'm not going to try to punch her or, or else the, then we're going to get the demon pr uh, princess back out. Like, come on. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I can break down the door. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. What? For a second I thought the music started to change. I was like, what's happening now? If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely ooh, hesitates ooh, before raising her arm Why? Her why? Her why? Why? Why is that what you're going for right away? What, like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> if you're hungry, I could have just said, hey, I have some crackers in my pocket. Or ah! She rips her flesh from her bone. Bro! The sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. What? You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Uh... Or we could use it to free her. I feel like she doesn't need it at this you point. Like what happens if you do that? I don't have any other options, so I guess I'm gonna save the princess. <sighs> Fine. Against your better uh, judgment, uh, 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 you I don't place want the to blade see that. Ah! <laughs> Self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, just above the unyielding chain binding her to this Bro, place. Bro, look, look at that stare. No pain at all. That's terrifying. You cut into her flesh the blade is sharp and it takes nah she's a zombie i'm convinced her, arm. her limb falls to the ground and the heavy chains follow suit she didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal right like that's creepy no she didn't she smiles softly <laughs> at least so she's still smiling yours. blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground how is she still smiling after everything? That's so creepy. It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. How? Through the window? Or the door? Okay. We won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No. I can't just let her escape into the world. What? As the princess approaches the what? bottom stair, your body Whoa, steps what? forward and raises no. the No! No, 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 Don't do that. Wait. No, 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 no. You can't just do that. Come on, she's going to kill me. Watch me. No! What are you doing? It's, it's, listen, this is not, this is a big misunderstanding. I, oh, come on. No, there has to be another option. No, order, please. Stop that. Something's come over you, hasn't it? You know you don't have to do this, right? Your body Ooh. lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. But the princess dodges, stumbling oh, back. Bro, she's gonna the hate me forever. Has a chance to connect. Stop it! Stop trying to resist me! I'm trying to get you out of I here. I can't believe alive. the narrator. I didn't know. I didn't know the narr uh, The narrator had this much power. Okay. What, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? I gotta resist. I wonder if. Any other of these options would do any anything else. The blade. Move the blade. As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. We both know this isn't you. I'm te uh, technically it is, because I can really do anything, but... Uh. She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. Bro, she's gonna kill me now. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. Wait, what? She plunges it into your chest, tearing Great. through flesh and sinew. It is agony. But you aren't dead yet. Oh no! I'm so sorry. This is so interesting. 
just thinking think, just thinking about what happened last time and seeing this completely well maybe not completely different considering her hands chopped off but pretty different side of her i don't Stay know man strong we can tough it out until it's done for her sake for her sake. <laughs> just take, taking the ultimate plunge for no reason dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture the two of you have literally doomed everyone i've yet to see what she can okay that's not true but i don't know exactly how she's going to doom the earth though i can see or i've seen how she's doomed myself but nothing else whatever she sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again and you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry she doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? <laughs> Apparently not. Though it doesn't matter how sloppy her blade work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hey, if I can come back to life three times in a row, then I can survive this. With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. It can't just end like this, right? And it won't, if I have anything to say about it. Oh, that's rich coming Oh, look at those you. eyes. As much as what I you mean? for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. Sure, buddy. I'm sure it is. Everything goes dark. And you die. Now nah, we're gonna go to chapter two. Watch. See? Come on, I, I know what I'm talking about. So what's, gonna, on a path so what's gonna happen this time woods. now? And at the end of that path is a I cabin. bet if I come back and to in the basement of that save her again. Is a princess. She she may be like over the moon. Or maybe she'll try to kill me because I tried to kill her. Well, I'm gonna double down. I'm gonna I'm gonna double You're down. Here to slay her. If you don't, I'm still so scared it will though. Be the end of the world. But also, she she's shown that I I don't know. She's willing to rip off her wrist with her. I, I don't know. Uh, so so I died. What am I doing here? I can assure you that you're not dead. And to answer your second question, you're here to slay the princess. I literally told you that a second ago. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. I may have chosen that yes, option before. Yes, he didn't approve of us last time, did uh, he? Now, we're, now we have if to force this man. save our beloved, we'll have to be sneaky about it. Our beloved? Beloved? Yes, you'll have oh. to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. Ah, okay. so all of the cards are on the table. Then you should know that we and the princess are in love. Oh, Before okay, so we're going all in on this now. Any and all assassination attempts you've got in the works. Wait, what? We'll see about that. Whatever hmm. you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. It sounds like he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world. So it sounds like for cheap. this ending, I need to lay into the spin right what here. What can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. Uh, let's assume I'm telling the truth and all this really did happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? I don't think I've asked this before, so... Those are two very different Oh, questions. yes, I have. Let's say for a moment you died last time, which probably... Okay, no, let me not skip through this. ...because you didn't listen to me. You were the one who did us in, villain. Yeah, I guess that's an, op that's an option that comes up every time you have a, a different ending like this and you get something slightly different with the different voices, so... Well, not you in the literal sense, but you did everything you could to stop us from rescuing her. Oh, I wonder why. Maybe it's because the entire world was at stake. No lone princess is worth that price. I beg to differ. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just going to take a deep breath and assume that whoever is making the decisions here has the common sense to ignore your protestations. Anyway, I believe your second question was, What's the point of doing anything? 
If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. Yes, yeah, so ordinary those lines are. What do you same. mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. You forced the princess to kill us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? I said, would she leave? She would never. She's a perfect w angel that you is there an is there an ending where she just leaves? Because other than the weird biscuit. creature that happens at the end of these paths, I haven't seen the princess outside of the cabin yet. Convoluted. I don't also, know how this just, premise could well, be. Can we talk about how the cabin has a basement? Bad. I feel like that doesn't make Save. a lot of sense, especially especially since it's on that hill. Like what? Uh, I kind of want to talk about the princess, but also I just kind of want to go ahead and just proceed to the cabin and just get this over with. A warning. I'm sure there's you go text that I'm missing, but at the same she time, I want to just, I want to get into she this. She cheat. And she, we already yeah, yeah, told yeah. you we're not playing along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe in. I think we've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. Hmm. I do, but I also speak from the heart. My passions are too great to be stifled. They must be expressed. Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. Anyways, let's go in. <laughs> so is she going to be head over heels over me, or is she going to be a psychopath, or what? The interior of the cabin is have clean you seen this and before? elegant, its stone walls draped in like fine-threaded tapestries, a prison befitting a royal uh, That's mirrored, bro. The I... only furniture of note is an ornate wooden <coughs> table with a pristine blade perched uh, on its edge. I'm going to ignore the mirror again and just try to go straight the in. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Yeah, sure, buddy. Uh... Uh, yeah, let's just enter the basement. The door to the basement. Oh, this feels very open, different. Revealing an intricate stairwell. Gold trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. And, and the music feels like more of a um, variation of the main theme. So, kind of laying into that gentleness of the princess. So, I think we're fine. But it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. A soft voice carries up the stairs. Soft. That's good. Hello? Is someone there? Oh, she sounds very different. Her voice. It's somehow even more the, beautiful. The music's getting than more lively time. now, and hmm. I can hear wedding bells already. Something's wrong. Nah, this is. I, f I feel a facade coming on. I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this. Uh, and I feel like the, the game knows that. Oh, dang it, dude. I don't... I don't know. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. Okay, let's see. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. Is she even? Uh, no, she is chain locked around up. Around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. My love, we're here to rescue you from your <laughs> hey, bro, you need shut up. foul imprisonment. You know she can't hear you, right? She may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. Okay, okay, buddy. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. It's you. My dashing hero. Oh, dashing so hero? Okay. You wouldn't come back. So she does remember me. Did you hear that? She said we're dashing. And she called us a hero. Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? Waiting for you to come back. I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here before. 
That's right, villain. And you killed us. Well, she killed us. Yeah. Only because he made us try and kill her. It was self-defense. Our beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. This is gonna take a dark turn, bro. I just know it. And you've died before. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but... What's done is done. What matters is you have a chance to do it right this time. Now, hold on. If she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? I just don't know how she would end the world. I haven't... I don't know exactly what she would do. Okay, let's see. You killed me last time and it hurt a lot. Why would you do that? I didn't bring a knife. Do I have to cut you out again? What happened after I died? I have to ask, did you end the world after you killed me back there? Um, there's... I could, I could go straight in, but I want to I wanna talk a little bit. So, do I need to cut you out again? I'm okay with whatever you come up with. You can cut my arm off again. <laughs> she said nonchalantly. We won't be laying a finger on her perfect wrists. And indeed, we won't even have to. Do you see how dainty her hands are? We'll be able to slip her right out with no harm done. What? No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. Well, if the game allows me to. Why are you two arguing over the logistics of slipping her hand out of her shackles? She just said she'd be okay with any idea we came up with. Am I the only one here who thinks that's weird? She didn't care last time. Why should she care this time? That's our stoic, smiling angel. No, you're right. It's extremely bizarre behavior and further evidence that she's a monster who's not to be trusted. So go ahead and slay her. Do I even have an option to kill her? No, actually. <laughs> okay, let's keep asking questions then. Um, What happened after I died? You died, and now we're talking. <laughs> well, I got my answer. Okay, okay, uh, you killed me. Uh, let me not say that. But before we started talking, did the world end? Did you end the world? I don't know. Was I supposed to have ended the world? Would that have made you happy? Okay, maybe I can trust her. Isn't that just maybe. like our darling princess? She wants to make us happy. My heart melts further with every word that passes through her beautiful lips. Are you listening to her? That's a confession. <laughs> oh? Oh, dang. I've, uh, oh, what have I done? Uh, oh, I didn't think that was going to go to anything. Let me remain silent. The princess's eyes quiver. As she waits for your response. I didn't end the world? I didn't end the world. She's clearly just saying what she thinks you want to hear. Or she's innocent. How could a beauty like her be capable of ending the world? It's not rational. Okay, cool. It went back. Um, so you killed me last time and it hurt a lot. Why, why did you do that? I'm sorry. Didn't you want me to? Did we? No. We warned her of the cruel forces seizing our body. That's practically telling her to kill us. She is our beloved, and she made the choice to free us of our misery, to show us mercy and make the best decision for everyone. She made the best decision for her. Don't be so quick to assign kindness. You're just opening yourself up to manipulation. I wish I had more to say, but I'm just like, I'm just here for the ride. I'm sorry about what happened last time. The narrator who sent me here to kill you took over my body. It was extremely unfair. Uh, should I acknowledge this? Uh, s s part of me just thinks something's gonna happen. I I'm just gonna rescue her. No, I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll... You'll what? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her? I would if you had a weapon. Not on my watch, villain. Ah, my passions but, 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 it can come out of nowhere again. Panic depths, and if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. What? You wouldn't. I would. 
I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? <sighs> you approach the princess and gingerly slide her hand from her bindings. <laughs> Just like that. That shouldn't have worked. <laughs> I'll be damned. <laughs> okay, sure. We're doomed. I can't believe it. But I guess I have to. I told you. There's no life more nice, worth bro. living than that of a true believer. I'm free. And you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. The princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. Bro. Ugh. <laughs> Maybe I'm falling for it, but come on. How can you, how can you think that someone like this is going to kill people? If only you had a weapon, one slip of the wrist and your pristine blade would be buried in her back and everyone out there would be saved. Luckily for Mr. Romance, we don't have a weapon. Who needs a weapon when we have the power of love on our side? <laughs> sure, why not? What do we do now? That's a very good question. We leave and then we have our whole lives to figure out. Oh, <laughs> that's a bad idea. Now I'll, I'll say, let's leave. We can make our own decisions from uh, from now on. That sounds perfect. The princess takes your hand. The last hopes of the entire world slipping through your fingers as they intertwine with hers. We have each other. We don't need the world for our happy ending. I like to think that you do, actually. Like, I still haven't seen a single thing that I should be worried about here. Look, I have my doubts, but the choice has been made and this is happening. You don't have to mope about it. I will mope about it, because moping is the only recourse you love blind fools have left me with. You and the princess walk and the door's up the wide open. hand in hand. Ugh, look at the way she's smiling at you. She doesn't have to be so happy about this. And what Just happens let them be. walk up the stairs? Let's see. Oh, isn't that interesting? Oh, come on! Come on! <laughs> come on, just kick open that door. Use that foot. That's a familiar move. Did I do that last time? Then you should know that you won't be able to leave. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Did someone lock us in here? That's not fair. We're supposed to leave now. She's right. It isn't fair. But the unfairnesses of the world are no match for the strength of true love. Enough with this true love nonsense. You just met her. Of course you wouldn't understand. Our passions run deeper than anything you have ever known. Are you listening to this? You don't have to go along with the every whim of that delusional voice. For this ending, I probably do, though. I'm just along for the ride at this point. <laughs> Me too. Um... I think... No, 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 no. We gotta we got do it together. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Like a pair of teenagers in love, you and the princess place your hands on the door together. Yeah. <laughs> and the lock clicks. <laughs> yes, sir. And the door creaks open. Are you kidding me? I told you our love was insurmountable. You and the princess make your way upstairs and Man, this... blade. That's right. There's still huh? a chance for you to do the right thing. Take the blade from the table and slay her before. Oh, it's, it's right too there. Late. <laughs> nah, too easy. It's playing. You're not doing You're that. Enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> yes, actually. You're taking every opportunity you can to draw out the end of the world and make me suffer. I hate you. This is going to be the most interesting bad ending ever if <laughs> that's really what happens. You know, if I'm, I'm calling the game's that bluff. Is really going to end the world. Can't we all just stay here? Oh yeah. Seems like an easy win for everyone. That's get the not option? how this works. Yes, what he said. That's not how this works. The mirror's gone. Obviously. I think. We have to leave with No, no, no. We're looking at the other it's door. It's our happy ending. All we need to be happy is each other. What if we just stayed here and built a life together? Stop it with these interruptions. I already made up my mind we're leaving. Just ignore them? Uh, I'm saving honestly because I feel like this one is an important one to have to come back to because oh uh, I want to ignore them but let's ignore them that's the way out we're going to leave together just like you wanted yes I suppose you are going to do that aren't you you cross the room opening the door to the cabin 
and then you step outside. Well, nothing's happening. Everything looks good. The, star the uh, night sky looks beautiful. She looks beautiful. What? Oh, never mind. The music is showing that something wrong is about to happen. Maybe this was a bad idea. A happy ending at last. We did it. What should we do now? What's happening? W where did everything go? Oh, wow, the end of the world was a lot less uh, a grandiose than I, was ex uh, <laughs> than I was expecting. Where did he go? Oh, is he gone? I hadn't noticed. I was the narrator's gone? Staring deep into eyes. I'm cold. Is being happy supposed to be so cold? What? She's cold. Quick, our feathers. Pluck the wall and weave her a coat worthy of a princess. Oh, uh, mission accomplished, I guess. Cool. <laughs> That's another one down. So here comes the mirror. But you don't get the chance to make that jacket, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Okay, so yeah, that's another Where ending down. Go? That was. Should we try and find her? Actually, really chill. And is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? Of course you're scared. Uh, this this is the end for you, but it's not the end for me. It's going to be okay. Just trust me. Uh, sure. But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. Yes, I fear that we won't like what we'll see. What if we just sit here and preen for a while? That can't hurt, right? I don't even know what preen means. It's not the end. With, uh, blah blah blah. I mean, we all know what's going to happen once I look at the mirror, though. We'll be we'll be fine. It's the end for you, but not for me. What is that supposed to mean? Whatever awful thing I felt before, it feels so much worse now. Do it then. End us all before I die of a broken heart. Okay. You push the mirror. You gaze at it. Sounds uh, silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You've withered. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. You're at the cabin. Yep, we're back. I am a growing. Oh, she looks so normal now. Contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new. And to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing. And yet the rest of me is still the same. You can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. How can you stand to be a contradiction? Hmm. Okay, let me ask this. What do you think of this vessel? This one is soft and delicate. You molded her to love you, and she'll make for a gentle heart. Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. Um, you can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. Or, er, uh, they don't exist. And yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no logic that can bind my multitudes. I am everything that you have known me to be, but I am also none of it. How can you stand to be a contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you. You are like me, even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. It doesn't matter how many times I go back, at least one of us al um, always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? I, I don't know if I'm skipping questions every time I come back to this, but I feel like I should ask as much questions as I can now, because it's like, I gotta figure out what this person's all about, or what this being's all about. It changes me. But it doesn't make me worse, nor does it make me care for you any less. 
Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? If, it, if anything, it makes me like you more. I don't know what that says about me. No, no. Um, I don't know. It does seem small from here. And the more we journey, the smaller each of those steps will be. But that doesn't make any of them less special. Um, enough of all this pretension, you're not actually... Uh... I keep seeing this and I keep ignoring it. Do I... Is it really gonna come down to me killing her at the very end? Bro, I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie, I don't... Have I asked this yet? Can you give me a straight, simple straight, uh, or single straight answer? I'm sorry. Words are difficult for me. They never fully leave what I wish to say. If you do not like my answers, then you need not ask me questions. The vessels you choose to bring me carry far more meaning than anything words could say in the spaces between. Fascinating. Do you know what happens to the worlds we leave behind? Oh, whoops. Um, messed that up. Uh, my perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen, just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. Um, have you figured out what, you, uh, what you'll want when we've finished? The desires of my multitude thrive in endless competition with themselves, but none of them rise above their dance to influence me. I yearn for what I have always yearned for, our awakening. Other desires awakening? shrink in the light of knowing you and knowing me. Hmm. I I feel like this is normally when I, when I stop. No, I need to keep asking. How many more vessels do you need? We will know when we near our destination. Okay. Uh, do you still not care what I bring you next? I care about your gifts. But I have no preferences to burden you with. Even if I did, I would never dare to tarnish our relationship by assuming myself above you. So you don't have any preferences on how you'd like to change or grow? The tides do not dictate where they are pulled. A river does not dictate its outlets. My gift to you is to let you choose your path. And my task is to treasure the gifts you bring me. These are so contradictory. Uh, let me ask this, or not ask, but say, I don't want to go back anymore. I just want to stay here forever if I have to. Let me, something told me just to save just in case. I, I feel like at some point saving is not really going to be that useful. I don't know, but let me say this. If you need time, then I will wait with you. Oh, whoa, 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 um, no, 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 don't, don't wait forever. <laughs> another ending in that, huh? And that's probably another, I don't want to say that, I don't want to, I don't want to, yeah, no, 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 I'm ready to go back, I'm, I'm so scared. <laughs> I will be here when it is time I can't. for us to meet again. Bro, this is so fascinating, like, I don't know what being I'm about to unearth by getting all these paths, but... Hmm. So my question is, if I go back to our, pre our previous save, will that undo go everything that I've done? The woods. And Probably the not. Okay, so this time I'm going to go and try to save the princess again, but try to vary up what I do just to see if that does anything. Okay, so right here, I have options to do... Wait, hey, I'm the computer to sleep. Let me just say hi. Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Please, come downstairs. Let's see if something as little as that changes th anything. You walk down the stairs of uh, the with the princess. 
So it looks There's like chain around it doesn't really change much so far. far My guy, I skipped past your text. Stop talking. Okay, oh, yeah, right here. Uh, let's talk first. Okay. Huh? Oh, okay, we actually can talk to her. Um, what's your name? Oh. She pauses, carefully formulating her words before she responds. You can address me as your royal highness. Or you can just call me princess if your royal highness is too formal. She said name and uh, address withheld. Okay. Is princess her name or her title? What if it's both? Could you imagine being named princess princess? <laughs> Uh, so, is Princess your name? Like I said, you can call me Princess if you'd like. I'm sorry, I've been down here so long, I guess I've just forgotten. I must have a name, though. Everyone has a name. Okay, that's weird. Very. She hadn't even thought to pick a name for herself. Hopefully, you're starting to see that she can't be trusted. Okay, this is definitely a new path. Go back upstairs. Get the blade and slay her before it's too late. Nah, I'm good. Um, if I'm the first person you've seen in a while, what have you been eating or drinking? Probably, <laughs> she's probably been uh, eating herself, honestly. I don't see what that has to do with anything. This is the only time this is ever going to happen, but I agree with the princess. That's hardly relevant. Okay, but actually, what has she been eating? Yeah, come she on, let's let's ask fine. the real questions. Like, how are you still alive? Fine. Um, what are you going to do if I let you out of here? The princess hesitates before responding. She doesn't know. She's been down here too long to have any idea of what she'd do in another life. She knows what she'd do. She's just searching for whatever answer she thinks you want to hear. Are you looking for the truth, or are you looking for the right answer? Because with the dynamic we have going on here, I don't think the specifics of what I do really matter. It's not like you'd believe me. Hmm. Um, I can't trust you. Uh, I can't believe they've been keeping you down here like this. I'm getting you out of here. I feel like that would just go towards the other ending. Um... Hmm, I'm going to keep you locked away down here, at least for a little bit. We can get to know each other while we... Okay, let me stick with what I was going to do. Okay, I'm going to get you out of here. Don't make me regret this. Hopefully this doesn't go towards the same ending I've already done. You're only making this more difficult. Thank you, and, and I'm just you curious I promise. if such little changes will change, change You're anything. You're making a huge Is there mistake. blood on the ground? No. I just noticed. You're doing the right thing. Oh. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tongue. Okay, that is... Okay, so we have done this before. Um, I'm going to check upstairs. Okay, so let me go upstairs this time. Okay, I'll be here. Good luck. You attempt to make your way out so of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams. You make your way to the- Oh, hold on. I have the option to slay the princess now. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. Uh. Okay, well, I've already- I've already seen the save the princess route. Oh, bro. Oh, I'm so scared. Let's just do it. Without hesitation, you bring the oh, no. Plunge it into this the is not what I wanted to do, back. but here we are. Fine. This is what I wanted, right? <laughs> to see a slightly alternate route from what, what I was doing before? The wound drives her to the ground. Okay. There's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. You, you bastard. Yeah, Were it, it's you over. you lying to me this whole time? It's over. The princess pushes away from <laughs> the motion ripping the blade from her back. Wounded. Oh, she's alive, bro, she's pissed. She crouches on all fours in the corner of the room and meets your eyes with the ferocity of a cornered predator. 
You've made a terrible enemy, and there's nothing in the world that can possibly save you from me. I thought we had the upper hand, but it's as if she's barely even threatened by us. Uh, I feel like we're, we've unearthed something even worse than what I saw before. It's an uh, She's wounded and unarmed. There's nothing she can do to hurt you. I beg to differ. I'm not so sure. Don't waver now. As you ready your blades to deliver a lethal blow, Are those she claws? At your legs oh no. The same animal ferocity she used to tear at her arm. Your blade cuts into her again. I feel like we've been here before. Your to the ground, your body no, she didn't look like this she before. Rips into you with tooth and claw. Forget about trying to rescue her. This is about survival now. Give her everything you've got. Well, I only have one option. Though your nerves are seizing with pain, you know you've done your fair share of damage as well. Your blade having left deep gashes in the princess's back. You seize a moment of hesitation to throw her off of you and shakily push yourself back to your knees. We can still turn this around. I don't know about that, buddy. Um, you never turn your back on someone like this. Um, I don't know what to do. Um, uh, let me let me hit hit it with the save and. I'm. Uh, let's let's just do it. You steal. Uh, <laughs> oh, dude, I'm so worried of what is, is gonna happen. Out of here alive, but you can still make sure that she won't make it out of here either. Excuse me. Whoops. What's this about not making it out of here alive? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone in this room is still standing right now. Don't act so surprised. Yeah, say that a little louder for her as she's about to tear me limb, limb, limb from limb. Out. If the princess doesn't do you in here, blood loss is certain to finish the job. You take another step forward, yeah, this is, and the princess lunges towards I feel like this is similar to another route we've already done. It's different, exchange, but similar. A flurry of blade and claw and fleshy ribbons. And then you stop. Neither you nor princess able to go any further. You collapse on the ground. And the princess collapses beside you. Blood pools around you both, and you watch each other fade away. After all this time alone, I thought I'd finally found a friend. But you were just another monster, weren't you? Well, I'm definitely not human. Silence, as the room starts to get fuzzy around you. You've paid a terrible price, but you've saved us all. It's over. If you think this is it, you're sorely mistaken. One way or another, I'll make sure you pay for this. But you don't have time Bro, to worry I'm over so such terrified things. to go back. Everything I do dark. not want to go back. And you I do not want to go back. I am so scared. The witch. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a, a new chapter name and everything. In the woods. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Oh, uh, bro. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. She's going to kill me again! Again? <laughs> People don't die twice. You haven't even met the princess, and I hardly think she'd be capable of killing someone as skilled and courageous as yourself. Stop making stuff up. I'm not courageous. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Brilliant. We need to keep our cards close to our chest, and I'm not sure we can trust him. It's an opportunist? Okay. You know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. Did I say I'm not sure we can trust him? <laughs> Slip of the tongue, bit of the old brain fog. I meant to say that we should probably head over to the cabin and slay that princess. We already know we can't trust her, so let's get on with the show. Uh, bro, well, I gotta, I gotta hear what this dude's gonna say. Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. We were just weighing our options in a morally ambiguous situation. You can't blame us for weighing our options. We did our best with the information we were given. And 
we did kill her. But at what cost? And yet you still died, didn't you? So congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We killed the princess, the princess killed us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that okay, actually skip for a little bit. Um, I don't mean to skip through the text, had, but I, re I really just want to hear the new voices. I may not do this every like time just because it does take if you think a bit it, extra time. Slaying her probably breaks us out of this cycle, right? We don't want to be stuck here forever, do we? You're laying it mm. on a little thick, aren't you? Laying it on a little thick? What are you talking about? I'm sharing my honest opinions. What matters is that almost everyone seems to be on the same page. Okay, let's, let's get to it. Actually, have I even gone... I, I, don't, I don't know if I've done this option yet. Let's talk about the princess. Just be quick about it. She killed me last time around. How can I be sure... Or how can I make sure she... Or that doesn't happen again. She killed me by ripping me to pieces. Don't get me wrong. I hated it, but... How can someone like that end up... Um... Hmm. To quote you from last time around, she's just a princess. How or why was she able to rip me apart with her bare hands? Who's locked her in the basement? What is this place? Uh, I'm gonna ask this. She just can. That doesn't answer Maybe anything. I I tell you more, <laughs> you can't hit me with that. What I'm saying is true, and that despite it all, you're fully up to the task that's been given to you. Okay, well, how can I make sure she doesn't kill me again? Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her, don't trust her, just go in, do your job, and save the world. <sighs> okay. Uh, who locked her in the basement, then? People locked her in that basement, and <laughs> I, I told you what <laughs> I hate this narrator. It's a part You don't help! Woods. Don't overcomplicate things. Bro, this is the most complicated game you could ever play! And that's not a bad thing. If people locked her away, why couldn't they slay- That's a good question! Look, I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps, but it's just the way things are. Oh. Fascinating. I didn't know we were special. Yeah, we're special all right, with our feathers and all. Of course you're special. Why else would you be here? Good point. That really explains almost everything. I'm not so sure about that. You know, you're right. But it explains almost everything. Does it? Why aren't you telling me? I've told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. If you want us to stand a chance against her, we need to be armed with information. What is she really capable of? How are we supposed to stop her? Not to sound like a broken record, but the less you know about her, the better things will go for all of us. I know it sounds Honestly, like that's fair. The less I know about any of this, the better. You have to take me at my word. I don't think either of you really need to press the man on this. He wants us to slay the princess, so why would he have anything to hide? He seems like a nice guy to me. I appreciate the vote of confidence, but you should really stop wasting time chatting amongst yourselves in the woods. So, if we could move this along? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. Yeah, I'm sure everyone watching is waiting uh, with bated breath to see me get annihilated by this girl. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. Yeah, okay, don't so we've first before. I think we've taken that lesson to heart at this point. You can trust us to get the job done. So, do I go in with the blade or without? That's my question. The interior there is the no- oh no, the blade's still there. Of twisted what? roots. The walls a chaotic weave of knotted wood that, almost uh, I'm as already if by accident, getting just nervous. happens to resemble a room. The floor <clears> is damp and earthy, and the only furniture of note is a slab of mud in the shape of a shelf, with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Do I go... Let me go in without the blade. I do that a lot, but like... Maybe there'll be a chance to... 
Uh, maybe there'll be a chance to calm her down? Or maybe that'll mean I'll die faster? Who knows? Uh, I will acknowledge the room this time. Very different. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. So focus up. A lot's riding on this. Have I ever acknowledged a mirror? That's because there isn't a mirror. There's the muddy shelf, the blade sitting on the muddy shelf, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's definitely a mirror. But he says there isn't one. That's got to count for something, right? <laughs> I want to look at myself. I want to see how handsome, <laughs> how handsome I am. Uh, uh, I dress my eyes. Why would or why would he lie about there not being a mirror? What's, that's a good point. Why would he lie about there being a mirror when there's obviously a mirror? Come on now. He's pretty much in charge here. When have authority figures ever lied about anything? <laughs> If there were a mirror in this cabin, and we were supposed to look at it, he would have told us about it. Okay. Exactly. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would a mirror even do? Let you waste time preening yourself instead of doing what needs to be done. Let me approach the mirror. I'm too curious. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. You oh. reach forward and rub your hand against the cabinet. Oh, does that happen every time? I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Yeah, yeah just look at my hand. It looks ugly. But interesting. So even if I did it, it disappears. Well, at least we can all agree now that there's nothing huh. to see here. Case closed. Good work. Well, now I don't feel bad about not acknowledge, um, acknowledging the mirror before. Let's... let's just, okay. Uh, this is a mistake. Let's enter the basement without the blade, and hopefully everything will be fine. No blade. Leaving it behind didn't work out so well for us last time. It'll always be here if we need it. Sure, that was also true last time, and we still died, but we definitely know what we're doing this time. <laughs> yeah, totally. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase dug into the muddy earth below. The ceiling is thick with roots that hang like locks of tangled hair. The weak starlight from the cabin windows behind you can barely penetrate the gloom here, only illuminating the edges of an opening below. It shines in the darkness like some kind of massive moor, waiting to swallow you up into the earth. The air smells of dirt and copper. It's thick and wet, as if your lungs are being coated in mud with each intake of breath. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her voice skitters up from below. Oh god. Something nasty finds itself on my stairs. Oh, I don't like that. I Calm don't like down. that. down. Don't be scared. I probably won't bite. Nah, I don't like that. That tone is very distinctly different, and I don't like it. One bit. Hello. <laughs> I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are, and I remember what you've done. See? She knows us. Is this <laughs> I, to be okay, so being nice is not going to work. Maybe, but you shouldn't let that cloud your judgment. She's just a princess. As long as you remember that and remain focused, slaying her will be easy. She seems friendly enough. Maybe we can talk our way out of this whole situation. <laughs> it's dumb because I feel like that's what I'm basically Unless saying I'm trying to do, right away, and I know that's not going to work. Free and end the world. There's no reasoning with what she is. Look, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I like to think out loud. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Don't we want to hear what everyone has to say before making any big decisions? Do you want to hear what everyone has to say, or do you just want to hear yourself talk? You need to stop lingering. Your task is to slay the princess, not endlessly debate about what to do with the princess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Fine. You're the boss. Oh, and we're going down. Thank you. Ooh, no, no wind, no, no, no nothing. Steps. We're literally in the Enter lion's den. The dark room below. Uh, so maybe that's where the class came from. You can just make out the shape of the princess in the gloom. She's huddled Where's against the, light the far from, wall, though? her eyes bright and glaring from amid the thick roots. 
And there you are, once again seeming to offer a helping hand while likely hiding the other behind your back. Fine, I'll play along for now. What do you want? She's acting like she already knows you. <laughs> like, it's, it's, you said, yeah, it's kind of like she does. True. That's pretty sharp. How'd you figure that one out? Call it deductive reasoning. Well, you seem to be great at it. Even this opportunist voice just annoys me. So, you really don't remember us, do you? No, I don't. But you and the princess clearly have a shared reality, even if I'm not a part of it. Hmm. I won't waste time fighting you on something that's clearly true. You fought us on it back in the woods. That was when the only perspectives we had were yours and mine. So he's not... So he's not admitting that we've done this before here? Okay. I'm just glad we could put all this behind us. <laughs> oh my God. Is it all behind us? <laughs> just oh no it ain't. Hand. I don't care if you've been here before, and I don't care if you think you'll go somewhere else after this. My world is on the line right now, so I'd appreciate it if you would take this seriously and slay her. Let's chat her up a bit first. Maybe we can find a middle ground where everyone's happy. <laughs> I, li I like the way you think, but I don't like the way you talk. Don't talk to her. You're just going to make things more difficult than they have to be. Well, I seem to remember you having a tongue. Okay, um... I'm un I'm un unarmed. That's a gesture of goodwill. So why don't we just talk it out? Um, honestly, yes, I'm saying that. Where where is it? Uh, hey, I, I, I'm I'm unarmed. I, I'm we're good. You came to me with empty hands last time too, but that didn't mean you hadn't been plotting something nasty all along. What you did showed me as much. But we didn't plot anything. We just made an informed decision based on the information we had at the time. I think you're both making perfectly valid points. Sure, we didn't plot anything, but it's easy to see how she might think we did. Um... Um... Why do I have a nagging feeling you're going to stab me in the back if I help you out of here? Um. Here, let me apologize first. Oh, smart. Let's apologize. Get us back on the right foot. Oh, you're sorry. Isn't that nice? You're such a gracious little monster. Well, if you're sorry, then let me out of here. Prove it. So we're at an impasse. Neither of us are going to get anywhere if we can't trust each other. Unless you want to fight, but I don't want to fight. Uh, but I want to say this. Why do I have a nagging feeling you're going to stab me in the back if I try to help you out? And why would I do such a thing? Is someone's guilty conscience getting to them? But I wouldn't worry. As much as I may hate you, letting you live is in my best interests. If you get me out of here, the only thing that will be dead and buried is the bad blood between us. Oh, that nagging feeling you mentioned is me, by the way. <laughs> I'm actually a little anxious about a potential backstabbing event. Yeah. She needs us to get out of here. We'll be fine if that's what we decide to do. You won't be fine because destruction is in her nature. If she gets out of here, that's it for the world, remember? Even if that's true, that doesn't automatically mean she's going to stab us in the back. Uh, I think that depends on your definition of words like stab and in the back. She might not literally do that, but she could very well symbolically do the same thing. See? He gets it. There's nothing wrong with looking out for number one. Uh, look, I know, I know. Things got messy last time. But I think there's something bigger than both of us at work. We should team... Honestly, yes. I suppose you didn't come into my hovel of your own accord, did you? All right. I suppose I could team up. I need a way out after all. And unfortunately, you're the only one I have. Seems to me like she's offering a mutually beneficial arrangement. We should take it. Do you know what the word mutually means? Because it sounds to me like she's offering an arrangement that benefits her and her alone. Uh, I get, I get the sense that you're not happy with me. 
Is that a joke? Do you think a joke will charm my trust back? You'll have to try harder than that. Okay, so I didn't bring my blade down, remember? How am I supposed to get you out of the, uh, those chains? And then, I don't trust you. Not enough to free you. And definitely not enough to uh, get close to you. I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> um, nah, I want to see where this goes. How do I get you out? Oh, I don't need you to cut me out. What? The princess oh, God. grins as the chains fall oh. from the wrist. <laughs> Oh my god. She could have gotten out of those the whole time. That sneaky little... A woman after my own heart, really. <laughs> she knows how to hold her cards close to her chest. Honestly, yeah, no, no. Props. But at the same time, I'm dead. This is why she can't just be abandoned here. If left to her own devices, she'll find a way out. Now stop her. So it's a good thing I didn't try to go and get the blade, because she couldn't just... She would have just ran after me immediately. Leave with the princess? Eh, why not? Yes, let's. She creeps forward, taking one cautious step at uh, a time. Ah, the music stops. And she are face to face. She never breaks eye contact, even as the two of you find oh. yourselves face to face. Uh, That's a good look for you. Uh, you're not gonna kill me, right? She's silent for a long moment, right? As if testing to see what you'll do now that she's within arm's reach. After you, darling. You're the one it lets come and go. It's best if I follow. Oh, absolutely not. Oh, no. <laughs> nope, if nope, nope. If going to turn their back on anyone else, she's going to turn her back on us. Now, let's do it together, side by side. It shouldn't matter who leads and who follows. We're working together it. Well, if it doesn't matter, then she can go first. We may be in this together. But what if something happens and then she tries to kill me again? In, like... Chapter three or something. Somebody has to go first, and it might as well be us. <clears throat> We're the ones who broke her trust last time. You're talking a lot about trusting someone who, by her very definition, cannot be trusted. I don't know how many more warnings I have to dole out, but if you help her out of here, you're going to regret it. Okay, so her first or me first? Her first or me first? Oh. Well, I've lived a long life. Not <laughs> uh, let's let's just go. That's right. You're the one who's going first. Don't worry. I'll be right behind you, watching every single thing you do. That's exactly what I'm worried about. I'm dead. You step onto the stairs and begin your ascent from the basement. The princess follows close on your heels, perhaps even a little closer than you'd like. No, what's going to happen is, is that we're going to get outside of the basement and we think everything's all, all right. And then she's going to grab the knife and immediately stab me because uh, I didn't grab it. You're only saying that because you want us to feel nervous. I do want those things, but I want them for a good reason. I don't need you to trust me for my sake because I already know that I'm right. This is for you. Can we walk backwards up the stairs? I think that's the smarter idea. <laughs> Actually, we'll though. Sneak in an attack if we're facing. Actually, though, no, honestly. No. The stairs are a bunch of overgrown roots. You'll trip and hurt yourself. Really? But the princess is silent uh, okay. as you both continue the climb, and in no time at all, the upstairs of the cabin is within reach. Isn't that a relief? We're fine. Nothing happened. Don't say that yet. You, you ain't out. You, you ain't. You ain't out of there yet, homie. Come on. I'm not even going to wait until you're through that door to proudly. You ain't out of there yet, man. Come on. What did you just say? That? Hmm. I think we know why. Oh no. You feel something dig into your shoulder, sharp and piercing. I forgot the she has claws. Princess clawing at you and pulling you down with her full weight. Together you tumble back down the uneven stairs, your there body and hers crashing against the unyielding wooden roots, until finally you both separate with a bone-shaking thud against the basement floor. You feel something pop. The princess lands against the far wall, gasping as she struggles to recover from the impact. You're still in shock, trying to get a hold of yourself. She grins as you continue to remain exactly where you are, cackling derisively <laughs> as she watches you realize that you won't be getting up. Wait, why won't we be getting up? Uh, all right, time to, time to cut the black here. I'm afraid your back is broken. One unlucky fall is all it takes, really. My back's broken. Had several. 
great. You know what? I'll say it. That sucks. I don't like having a broken back. <laughs> Who does, buddy? We were going to help her. Why? Why did she do that? I wonder why. It's what I would have done. Have you considered not being like that? Of course not. It's what keeps us alive. And yet here we are, paralyzed and stuck with someone who hates us in the basement of a remote cabin. You must have known this was coming. The arrogance of turning your back to me after everything you've done. Uh... We were never going to get up those stairs, were we? The princess lets out a mocking laugh. <laughs> By our very natures, only one of us could make it upstairs unscathed. Someone had to make the first move. Better me than you. See, this is why I wanted her to go first. I had this whole little scheme planned. Where once she'd passed by the table upstairs, ah, I the other path would have been now pick up the what I was saying. Stab her in the back, and then you'd say something like, "Wow, that's an amazing idea that I never saw coming. Thanks for looking out for us." And then you would have done it, and we wouldn't be stuck down here with a broken back. There's just one problem with that, and what's that? Hmm? She was clearly planning to betray us. Yep. And if she was in front of us, she would have gotten to the blade first. Ah, see, I, I thought so. Ugh, you're right, aren't you? I thought this whole thing was ironclad, but really it was doomed from the start, wasn't it? The princess's huh? body twitches as she tries to get up. It, what, did you break your back? Ho ho ho! So she's not as bad as us. Something inside me is broken. Isn't that a cruel twist of the knife? Isn't that so... so funny? She eyes you with intensity. Silence falling between you for a long moment as her gaze travels up and down your battered form. Seems I'm not the only one, though. Wait, are we both just stuck here? Apparently. Certainly seems that way. What a way to go. But look on the bright side. In all this chaos, you may have actually managed to deliver a lethal wound. The world could be saved after all. Yeah, but We're I'm going to die together. Isn't that a lovely treat? I wonder how long it'll take. Maybe I'll get to watch the worms lick your bones clean. No, oh, okay. Is that really what's going to happen? Well, I think we did it. We, we reached another another ending. <laughs> Hello? Are you still there? What happens next? It's in interesting that... Yeah, like, whenever we reach a new path, the narrator goes away. I think he's gone. Something strange is twisting this place out of shape. I wasn't feeling much of anything, but now I feel... Okay, cool. Yeah, we did it. Cold. I'm really... Man, this is so fascinating, man. Dude, it, it's gonna take so long to get all of the, um, all of these different endings. She's gone. <clears throat> Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Of course you're scared. This is the end for you. Uh, yeah, 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 no. Uh, it's gonna be okay, just trust me. We've been here before and you always get scared. But it feels so bad. Like, looking into it right now is gonna be the end of everything. So it's like, I guess right before the mirror, we don't know what's going on every single time. But the voice knows? Uh, or the voice of the, of the whoever? And then uh, when we go in, then we're like, oh, we've been here before. If he thinks it's bad, I'm with him. Or, wait, who's... I'm confused. Is the hero talking here or the voice of the... Whatchamacallit? I'll see you on the other side. It's going to be okay. Okay. If you say so. Finally. We're going places. Okay, so obviously it's going to be me again. Hmm. I, dude, I wanna, I wanna see more and more of like what these endings are like. But like, man, there's so many paths. Dude, there are so many. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. I am curious to see what it means for us to know it. Do you think there are people out there? It doesn't matter if there are. People are too small for us. You and I are the only things that interest me. Do you think that anything is real out there? 
Do you think that we're real? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, nothing can't exist. My head hurts. Uh, what do you think of this vessel then? This one is hope marred by bitterness and betrayal. She could see the end of the tunnel, and the door was closed on her. She will make for a righteous heart. Do not mourn her. She is finally on the other side. What is that other side then? Um, do you know what's going to happen when you awaken? That's a good question. If I did, I would already be awake. Hmm. When you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of, some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I call him the, uh, the narrator and he wants to, me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Have the vessels had one? Uh, I'll, I'll ask that in a minute. Let me, let me ask how many more vessels. One. Oh? Whatever you bring me next will be enough. And then gravity will pull the others back to me. I will be singular. A final multitude. Oh. Oh, one more and that's it? Oh, shoot. I, I imagine there's a lot more different paths I can go to to, like, fully complete the game. But, um, or I guess, yeah, from a completionist standpoint. But to finish the game, I guess I only need one and then we can see what is going to happen. Okay. Man, we're close. Um, if this is, if this is the last time, is there anything you would like me to bring you? These gifts are a conversation. And each one shows me the contours of your heart. The only thing I want to see is what you choose for me when the thread is fully drawn. Okay. Um, if this is the last stage before your completion, then I'm not going back. I'm not. I mean, that that is an ending, I bet. But we're not going to do that yet. So let me, let me ask this. No. Their minds are empty, existent, but constantly shifting into something new. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? What? Um... Uh... Oh, kill the narrator? But how would you do that? I'll say he does, and when I find him, you and I are finally going to have some answers, I guess. Do not look to one who fears me for your truth. The only answers worth knowing are those we can find within ourselves. Okay, let me choose this one now. You've already tried waiting, but oh, I understand he remembers that. you need more time. I'll wait with you. Let me try. Let me. Uh, let me wait. Let me wait. I will see you when you return. What textures will you weave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? If you close that box, will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight of its hand-drawn cage. You'll always come back to the box, because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I will be here waiting by your side, until you're ready to return to mine. What? Oh, what have I done? Uh... I see you have returned to me. Oh, that was creepy. Days mean nothing in the mall forever. Oh my god, what? I never left your side. Okay. <laughs> that creeped me out, I'm not gonna lie. Um. Huh, okay, well, I'm ready to go back after that one. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here, waiting for you. Well, it looks like we're almost done.